everyone, this is Laura and welcome to my channel. I have some uh, I have some Father's Day cards to share with you guys. And yes, I am running a little late. I should have posted these videos a few days ago. But unfortunately, I got a little ill and I just couldn't get here sooner than today. And I am so sorry for that. Um, a good note though, um, I do have some, some Father's Day cards, um, I have some masculine cards, and the big blessing here is that these stamp sets that I, well first of all let's talk about the stamp set, this is from Long Fawn, it's called Dad and Me. The things that I love the most about stamps is that you can use them for what they're meant for, but you can also use them for other things. Um, and that's the thing that I love the most, especially about Lawn Fawn. Um, they are one of my favorite stamp companies out there. Um, and Avery L is also, I just love Lawn Fawn more, but Avery L is also one of my favorites and CC designs as well. Um, but for scene cards and such, I find that Lawn Fawn is the best, 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 best. Um, for me, it's just a personal choice. Now, I did use a lot of um, Diamond Die Dies nesting sets with these stamp sets uh, to create my cards. Um, I'm not going to include these as a Diamond Dies uh, project because when I do do my Diamond Dies DT projects, I like to make it more all about the Diamond Die Dies. And um, since I used a lot of other stuff, um, I'm just going to leave this as a little long form project share. So, I was making my cards, and I was also working on something else when I finished making the cards. And that was some mixed media projects, and I had a little accident happen. And I was actually in the process of recording when I realized how I can fix this card. I'm going to share the card anyway, because it was the first one that I made with this um, particular stamp set. But I did have a little happy accident, um, and the reason I say happy accident, because at the time I didn't think I could fix it, now I realize I most certainly can. And it really helps that I use this distressed paper, because now I think it will look like part of the card. But anyway, there's two ways I can fix this card, and I'll get to that in a second. I know that you guys already see this big blue spot over here. <laughs> That's what I'm going to try to fix. I'm starting out with a 6x6 six six, um, cream cardstock base. I have some leftover papers from several different little kits that I had killed. There were maybe one or two sheets. And what I did was um, when I was clearing up my craft room, I took all the paper pads that had less than four to five papers in them. I just took them all out and I put them in a little stack like so. And I just have them as um, free papers like scrap papers that I can use. Um, for cards and that's the, that's what I went into I went into that paper so this sheet of paper um, design paper here the one with all the little clouds the green one and the blue one all came from that paper stack so I don't know what paper stacks they are they just happen to be um, loose scraps of uh, pieces of pattern paper then everything else I used the white card stock and my Copic um, my Copic uh, markers to color in the little bear and the daddy bear and his hat and the little fish. The lake and the stream going down into the little lake or pond. Um, I did this with the salty ocean distress inks. Then I added glossy accents to that. I don't know if you guys can see that. And the cattails, the little rocks, the mountains in the background and the dragonflies. I all and the um, little grass or the stalks of grass or whatever these are. Um, I did that with the Lawn Fawn inks, various colors. Now, as you can see here, my card accidentally fell into a pile of liquid ickiness. <laughs> I was doing some mixed media stuff, which I'm going to share later on at a future date, but uh, my card kind of fell into it after I worked so hard on it and it dried oh and I don't know did I mention the glossy accents I really love the way that came up so I was sitting here all bummed out and I was thinking oh gosh after all that work now 
And then, of course, I was just going to give this card to my husband because I know he's the only person that I would do that to. And I know he wouldn't mind because he loves us and he would just say, oh, accidents happen. It's okay, honey. Um, but I just realized what I can do is I can just cut all this out and just add another background to it. And thank goodness I didn't glue my little bear all the way down. I did glue everything else all the way down, but not his hat and his head. So I can basically just cut around all this and just add a new background. So I'm not so bummed out the way I thought I was, and I will be able to reconstruct and fix this card without losing my little scene here, which is to me the most important part. And then on the inside here, I just have Happy Daddy's Day, and again, using my Diamond Dies um, nesting set, I just love that counter cross stitch. So I said, oh my gosh, and look at how big it is. <laughs> I just love it. So that's one of my Father's Day cards. Another Father's Day card that I made, I used my Diamond Dice Circle Dies and my Diamond Dice Circle Counter Cross Stitch Die Set. And here again, using the stamp set with the dies. Now, the grassy part here, I did distress everything with Vintage Photo. And I used my Copic um, markers to color in the little mousses. Um, I used glossy accents in the stream. Now for this one, um, the water and the um, like little creek or, or, or whatever you want to call this stream crook creek um, that I use my um, Hero Arts neon blue ink that Becky had gifted me, and they worked so much better. Oh my gosh, I love the way it came out and. Um, the rest of the little cut aparts are from the Diamond Dice stamp sets and die set. And then I did some shading in, in green, here, 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 just to make it look all woodsy. I love the cloud um, pattern paper in the background, again, scraps, and scraps over here as well. I didn't use any foam dots because I wanted it to be easy, mailable. And this World's Best Dad also came from the stamp set. The Happy Daddy's Day, that's from a different stamp set. That's from one of my Hero Arts Father's Day stamp sets. And then Your Jokes Are Always Amosing, that's from the stamp set as well, from this lawn font set. And again, I have two layers of circle counted cross stitch cut aparts from my diamond dies that I layered on the inside to complete the card. And that's another one. And then my last card was the one that I wanted to share with you. I wanted to share that it doesn't have to be just for Father's Day. This can be an anytime I'm thinking of you or someone maybe um, did something nice or a birthday card or maybe you miss someone and you just want to tell them you love them. Maybe it's a camper and they love outdoorsy. Maybe it's a friend that loves nature scenes um, or maybe it's a friend that loves bears. And so here I use the little bears again instead of the moose. And again, I created another scene. Uh, I really love the lawn fawn stamp sets for scenes. Here I have two little bears. Each one has a fish. And Daddy Bear has a fish. This fish, I wanted to make it look like it was coming out of the stream. And the bear was like ready to snatch it for one of his little babies. <laughs> and then this little fish, I put it upside down on purpose to make it look like the bear was about to just start digging into his little fish and I have the mountains in the background again acting as a border I distressed everything with vintage photo on the bottom to make it look like the mountains had a little uh, um, valley below or whatever again some pattern paper I did put a banner going across the top of it, it says you're officially awesome and then on the inside I left it blank. I used another one of my diamond dies, counter cross stitch dies. And that's just so that this can be an anytime card for anybody, male or female. Anyone who loves the woods and bears, this would be a great card for them. So guys, those are my cards. Again, I'm really sorry that I didn't get an opportunity to share with this, uh, share this with you a lot sooner. I'm actually on my way out. Um, I have a uh, graduation party I have to go to so I'm trying to I'm trying to do this video quickly and talk and I'm like jumping over all my words I don't know if I forgot anything um, if I did I do apologize again I just wanted to come and share these cards real quick because 
I'm running rather late <laughs> for my party and for the videos. I hope all the daddies out there have a wonderful, wonderful Father's Day. Um, I want to wish my son, my dad, and my husband, all three of you men who I love so much in my life, who all happen to be great dads. I'm so blessed and lucky. Um, I want to wish them, all three, a very happy Father's Day. I will be spending Father's Day with my husband. My son um, lives far away, so I can't be with him. And my dad is going to be um, spending the day, I believe, with my sister. Um, he's not going to be able to come down for this Father's Day. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, guys, thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a blessed weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.